dry air in place. That's allowing those temperatures to cool off pretty efficiently tonight. Already at 77 degrees in Bryan College Station, 82 in Caldwell. Take a look at this. Already 73 degrees in Fairfield. So that northern and northeastern zone quickly going to fall into the upper 60s. We should hit the upper 60s in BCS tonight. 69 is what we saw this morning. Should see those temperatures flirt with the upper 60s again tomorrow morning. Can't rule out a few mid 50s across northern parts of the Brazos Valley. 78 degrees in Marfa, 90 in El Paso, still hanging on to 91 degrees in Del Rio. Cold front is now stalled out well south of the Brazos Valley. No activity along this front for coastal parts of Texas. This front just going to kind of hang out there over the overnight hours into tomorrow morning, but we're going to see dry air continue to filter into the Brazos Valley. That's going to eliminate cloud cover across our area and even during the afternoon hours, some cloud cover out across the Texas Hill Country, but we're not going to see anything here as those northerly winds just continue to usher in that dry air in the Brazos Valley. That's going to lower those relative humidity levels and eliminate any precipitation chances. No rain chances as we head throughout the weekend, but that starts to change as we head into early and middle of next week, looking like we could see an uptick in precipitation, especially across that southern and eastern zone. And then, of course, coastal Texas had a pretty good chance to see showers and storms. Looking like we could see this uptick due to the possibility of a tropical system approaching coastal parts of Texas or maybe Louisiana. Taking a look at that system right now, it has an 80% chance of development over the next five days. Currently over the Central Caribbean, going to lift its way toward the Yucatan Peninsula over the next couple of days. Wouldn't be surprised if this becomes a tropical depression either tomorrow or Friday. And then, of course, heading into the weekend, looking like it could move into the Gulf of Mexico. We do have a little bit of breaking weather news. Tropical depression 13 formed tonight. This system expected to work its way toward the west northwest approaching Florida as we head into latter parts of the weekend is either a strong tropical storm, maybe even a category one hurricane going to have to keep a close eye on this system. If it doesn't interact with Hispaniola, it could quickly intensify possibly into a category one or category two hurricane, and then it looks like it's going to try to work its way into the eastern Gulf and eventually southeastern parts of the US. The system we're really focused on is the one that's going to work its way over the Yucatan Peninsula into the southern Gulf of Mexico by late weekend. And then as we head into early next week and a kind of lift into central parts of the Gulf, that other system, Tropical Depression 13, going to work its way off toward the west northwest. This ridge out across the Atlantic going to kind of build toward the west. So that's what's going to push these systems into the Gulf of Mexico. We could see some rain chances occurring as early as maybe Monday evening into Tuesday as this system approaches either the upper Texas coast or Louisiana. Keep in mind there's still some uncertainty, so if this system tracks a little bit farther south or maybe even a little farther east, that could shut down our precipitation chances. But right now, looking like we're going to see a surge of tropical moisture from this system regardless of the intensity, and the intensity is still kind of questionable with both of these systems, but we'll continue to monitor them as this weakness across the Gulf states allows both of these systems to work their way in. So going to be a very active period over the next several days, keeping an eye on both of these tropical systems. We're going to see nice conditions out there tomorrow. 96 degrees. That is around average low humidity as we head into next week, though. That's when we start to see the precipitation chances go up here in the Brazos Valley. Tristan, we need the rain, but we don't want to see a hurricane or even a tropical storm impact our area. Uh, if we get the rain, let's just hope that it's on the weak side. Right, yeah. No, we don't want the rain, but let's stick to the positives. Low humidity for this rest of this week. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, and we're going to see another morning of upper 60s. So are you going to work out tomorrow morning? Of course, you know Okay, me. it's going to be nice out there. So I'm sending you some nice, cool weather. Yes. Get out and enjoy it while you're pumping the iron or running, whatever you're doing outside. Let's hope that the humidity stays low throughout the day. So when I do have to go cover some things tomorrow, it's not going to oh, yeah. drench me in sweat as soon as I step outside the door, you know? Yeah, no, you're going to be good. It's going to get a little toasty tomorrow afternoon, but we're not going to see any humidity. Okay. I, I well, you get either or, either or. That's I can't like you said earlier. Beggars can't be choosers. Exactly, and I'm I'm wrapping the package for you now. I'm putting a nice bow on it, a bow that says no humidity. I so appreciate that. Always doing the most. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> We're gonna have sports coming up next.